In the area of type 1 diabetes, uh, we're looking at trying to generate insulin producing cells from human embryonic stem cells. Now, as you might be aware, people who have type 1 diabetes have lost their insulin producing cells. Those cells have been destroyed by their own immune system. And so, in order to maintain their blood glucose levels, and blood glucose is controlled by insulin in the blood, they have to inject insulin on a regular basis, two, three or four times a day. People have found though that if you're able to transplant islets uh, into people with type 1 diabetes, you can restore uh, their glucose control. Islets are the, the structures in the body that contain insulin producing cells. So the problem though is that there just aren't enough islets to be used in transplantation therapy like all uh, forms of organ donation there is a, so a shortage so people have thought that if you can generate insulin producing cells from stem cells then you can solve the supply issue in terms of that as a treatment option. Apart from the diabetes research in the lab we uh, are doing similar kinds of experiments for cell types that represent a whole lot of different tissues. Uh, we have a, a large number of people working on trying to generate blood cells and ultimately a long-term goal would be able to generate for example red cells that could be used in transfusion rather than having to get cells from uh, donors. Uh, along the way though the other kinds of things we will generate will simply be an understanding how, of how human blood cells develop and again, human cell types that can be used for experiments and, and drug testing. Uh, we also have people generating heart cells uh, as well and, and neural cells.